Hey guys, what's up? It's Jan, and today's video, um, I'll be reinstalling the stock VG248QE monitor uh, PCB. So if you don't know, G-Sync, the DIY kit for G-Sync for the VG248QE, is a complete PCB change, and you lose HDMI and DVI, and your audio inputs, and a lot of other features. Um, G-Sync is still a great technology, and I still recommend it, but I still need to use um, not the Intel Gate DVI or whatever monitor, or an HDMI monitor, um, or TV. Uh, G-Sync's kind of the way to go, uh, not, not G-Sync is the way to, I don't, meh. Let's do that again. Until I get a D HDMI monitor, I kind of want to have the HDMI for things like Chromecast, and it's really useful in a dorm. And I, I've kind of voiced my opinions about G-Sync before. And um, was it, uh, was the DIY kit worth it? Well, I didn't pay anything for it, so um, for me it was kind of worth it. But I still need to use it for certain college applications. But when I go back home, I'm probably gonna switch back. And the installation or deinstallation or the uninstallation process isn't that bad. So um, we'll go on from here. So here is the stock VG248 PCB. And it comes with the actual PCB for the monitor. So this has all the inputs, outputs, and all the logic for the um, motherboard. It's uh, not the motherboard, the monitor itself. I'm tired, you guys, by the way. And this whole block is the power delivery. So it does the um, AC to DC or DC, AC to DC power conversion and um, all that other fun stuff. Um, so yeah, when you get the G-Sig module, you actually um, do a uh, you get a power brick, and that PCB pretty much limits the use for that. Since I can't, well, it's somewhere in this room, and I'm too lazy to go find it because I just, like, unpacked everything. It's a complete, utter, messy mess. Um, I'm going to use my old, my tool set as my flathead screwdriver. So what you need is you need the shim tool, which I completely forgot to bring. Um, but this flathead will work. The monitor's already scratched. I have the monitor here. I carried it by hand when I brought it to school. Um, so here it is. Here's the piece. Here's a nice piece of software I'm using. All right. So let's start the installation process. I don't want to take too long with explanations and hoo-hahs and whatnot. I'll leave the towel here so I don't scratch anything. Uh, make sure you have something that discharges you, so I don't actually have anything here. So I'm gonna use that, and hopefully that will work. All right. So on the bottom of the monitor, you will actually see some little parts where you can actually uh, put a screwdriver in and a you know, prior monitor open like that. So if I find, I believe there's two. Okay, there's another one. Did I miss one? I believe there was only two. Yeah, I think that's it. So after you do that, you can kind of shim through the rest and using, I mean, it's already scratched as is. So you just kind of go around and you can uh, just turn your screwdriver a little bit. Uh, there we go. I'm trying to find a place where I've actually uh, broken it before, so I don't get any more scratches than there already are. All right. uh, try not to close it up again. There we go. And after this stuff, I'm going to start using the manual. You have to pretty much do the manual backwards. Uh, Alright. Just there. Now, there we go, like that, there we go, I think there's only a couple more clicks I have to do, oops, I don't want to scratch this, there we go, and two more. I don't want to. I think this, this part's the hardest part because it has the buttons. So I think some, there's more clicks here. Or there's either more or less. And actually, what you can do when you have most of it off, you can just kind of take it off completely. All right, now I'm going to start using the manual backwards. Um, so let's do that. There is a part in here that. Um, when you do the installation, you take off a standoff, but I'm just going to let it hang. 
Yeah, that works. So 21 steps. That's gonna be a lot. So, like blue flex. Okay. So, metal tape. So there's little metal tapes here. Um, if you just watch my G-Sync installation video, you can kind of go along. I'm just gonna. It's kind of a blog video, more of anything. Okay. It recommends that you um, take the thing and you put it off the thingy. I don't know. I'm not explaining it really well. Um, you take the tape and you leave it onto the you leave it onto the housing. But it was impossible to do it in certain places because of uh, some complications. So I'm gonna take this off. This is the th this is the cover, so you can for the AC. Um, so start taking this out. There's a cable I have to take out, I believe. Alright, gonna take up the tape. 31 blue flex cable. That's over here. There we go. Blue flex cable. Um, backlight cable, so that's the one over here. There we go. Tape down the cable. So this little black velcro thingy, not velcro thing, it's just black special tape, which, where did I take it off from, which I think it's here, actually it didn't have pretty good, I don't remember which side I took it off from, or if I took it off from here, anyway, alright, this is a tough tape, I don't remember how I took it off the first time, alright, take it off from there, Reconnect the cable. Oh yeah, so this cable comes up completely. Yeah. All right. So I took that cable out. All right. So everything pretty much that you could take off from the chassis has been removed. Oh yeah. There's this one. Yeah. We forgot about that one. Okay. Um, so now we're gonna, I'm going to take this, the actual panel, and move it elsewhere, now, temporarily. My bed should be mine. Yeah. Okay, now we're just working on cloth. Um, I'm going to keep grinding myself every once in a while. And I don't even think that's metal. Yeah, that should work. Um, next part is this. Place chassis back on LCD panel. Okay, insulation to chassis. Alright, so this black sheet of paper thing. Take off. Okay, did that. So now we take off the PCB screws. Now I'm just going to get my screwdriver kit. And I could probably use the smaller one. Since that's the one I have right now. Got the biggest one I have. Hopefully, this should work. Sorry if I'm bumping on my tongue. I didn't have to so much. Especially when I'm sitting down, it's harder to avoid. There's a lot of screws to this, so make sure you don't lose them. be doing that before I do this. I kind of like this one in that you didn't have to use a, uh, whatchamacallit, you didn't have to use a power brick initially. It's all G's and you do have to, but I think it was a cool little feature. That it offered. So that's not coming out. Actually, I don't think these come out. I'll put that back in. I think that's a secure the G-Sync module. Alright. Um, well, this one had guides, I believe. So. Um, okay, 
metal plate cover. I took that off originally before. Input connector, so I need to get rid of this um, thing. Yeah, that's right, because this holds this in. So this is the input connector for the uh, DVI. Uh, oh shoot, I don't have the um, the DVI standoffs, which I, it's fine, I guess. I'm not using DVI. Got to take that consideration. Side. So now you can see that the inputs are there. They're actually properly cut out. All right, I think that's it. I think the PCB should be fairly straightforward to remove now. If I can get a spot where I can pick it up. There we go. So that those two screws over here I was about that I was about to take out were actually part for the, yeah part for the G-Sync PCB. So I really shouldn't check this out. Okay, I had to put it to a nice place. Um, I don't think I have to take anything else. Oh, yeah, the, then I have to do the cabling. Okay. So let me take up these cables. Try not to be rough. These things are like fragile. Very fragile connectors. I did LD. I don't think there's enough ones. Yeah, no, that one, that one definitely comes out. There we go. Well, I did. I hope I didn't force that out too badly. So I'll put G-Sync over there. So I have to cut my cables. Next, okay. The standoff is what I. Think about. So I remove the cables from the PCB. Okay. Now I seem to figure out how they come back in. So I'm gonna go put this to the side. Now we're gonna start working with these cables. Okay, so this one can I just shimmy in because one only goes in one way. Alright. Okay. So that goes in there. And then the LDV uh, the wizard the L V yeah, L V D S. Well I should that right. Um, okay, so let me just look up the thing to see how it's supposed to go back in so I can get the orientation correct. Um, so the metal part is supposed to go up there, so if I do this correctly, it will be upside down. So it could be like this because we can put it. Okay, that makes sense. So I'll do it like this. The two knobs there. Okay. Um. So I did that. Connect the things. Yep. Move the PCB so it's pretty much we put it back in. Um, there'll be one missing, one screw missing, because the standoff that was supposed to go right here is missing. So how do I put this back in? I completely forgot. Here, we remove this piece of tape. That's what I used to hold the metal, the power connector. All right. So let me just. I could probably do it by aligning the um, display outputs. All right. So AC goes here. I can do it one at a time. And there's a certain way to do it. I should put that back in. Alright, so this one goes in from this side. And kind of just push it in. Kind of let it sit there. It's supposed to sit in the middle like that? I guess it does. Yeah, it does. They, they actually have little oh, prints 
where I'm supposed to go. Okay, for this one, you have to do the opposite side. So, there is the something like that. Right, these cables just come out there. Oh, I didn't get the cables backwards. Let me just do a test fit. Get it back that way. Is it the black part or the metal part that comes out that way? Where is the manual? I totally misplaced the manual. There's a metal shielding, but I completely forgot to bring it. Which is, I guess it's funny. Um, DVI, and screws. Okay, um, PCBs. Alright, so let's put these screws back in. Let's go, I know where the big one goes. on each side. Uh, the thing is this, I think this one needs more screws because now the standoff is missing. It's really loose in there. Funny thing is the installation, the insulation rather, is on the opposite one, which makes it slightly more complicated. It's brass screws, they're like goldish colored. Look brass, yeah, look like brass screws. I don't even know if you can make screws out of brass, so I don't even know if I'm speaking the truth. I'm speaking anything of that sounds like it would make sense. Alright. That's that. Um let's go with PCBs. I haven't screwed them. No shielding. Alright, let's screw back the um this stuff. I don't need to put anything oh, additional for that. DVI is just gonna start hanging because I forgot the uh DVI screws. Well, I think you do, you can do it from the outside. That's no problem. I'm not concerned doing that. So whenever I get back to it, I'll bring it back. I thought it was just a motherboard stand, that's why I completely forgot about it. I could, I could probably rip it off of something. Oops. I don't want to press on it. This is, yeah, this, the, 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 the Display port's gonna be a bit stubborn. Because there's no. Uh, I don't wanna break it. I think I'm stripping something. It's hard to do without the, uh, the standoff. This one just presses down. Yeah, that's fine. We'll be able to deal with that. Okay. The insulation. Yeah. Uh, keep slipping back. Did that. So I removed the insulation last time. Where does the insert? Inserts this way. So. I'll reinstall the insulation. Alright, so that last time we've separated, now we're going to reconnect it. So let me just set that aside. Let's bring our panel back in. Let me get the uh, foam so we don't get too many issues with that. Okay, I'm just going to do it this side. Where's the LED? Yeah, it's over here. Set the, these cables back because we're going to use them later. Let's set kind of I still have my markers from when I marked it last time, so that's good. Got the speakers back, yay. Alright. 
the thing is you kind of learn more about your device when you take it apart. Like I didn't know the speakers are on top. Those speakers are actually on top of the monitor. Alright, let's start plugging things back in. I right, hope I'm not too rough with it. And put that shielding back since I'm not really going to touch it that much. Uh, where's the black tape thing? Yeah, the uh, connectors. Alright. Let me guess. I had upside down. Yeah, I thought I had the orientation correctly. Yeah, I had it upside down. Let's have to take it back apart again. I don't want it to. I don't want to screw this up a third time. All right. So let me see. I put it in this. If I put it in this way, it'll be like that. When I put it in this way, it'll be in the right orientation. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> Finally got it. You know, third time's a charmer. That's what they say. That's all I was sorry to say. And if you don't get them third time either. I'm not going to do the last two screws from the outside because they are visible from the back of the, the chassis. Alright. Now let's flip this over and put it back in. Alright. There's that. Alrighty, my dazers. Guys, for CS majors, you don't really care about hardware. So, that's, that's kind of how you roll. Um, right. This is the backlight connector, right? Oh, speakers. Ooh, speaker connector. No, the manual doesn't really mention that. I think I broke it when I did this the first time. Blue ribbon cable. This is the on off switch last I checked. Oh, that one went really easy because it's closer. Uh, I'll put that in. Let's see if I missed anything. Um, LDVS. Trying to see from the LCD panel, fold back metal shielding, put in backlit connector, metal shielding, blue flex connector, reconnect that, um, audio cables back, uh, probably put this one back in, the power cable, okay, have that, VDS, move back cover, our corner, plastic shin. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Let's put the chassis back together. Go on from there. <laughs> It'd be funny if I put it upside down. And so, like, I, I can't plug in anything. And then I gotta re shimmy it. Which I, I think they're smart enough. They didn't 
but give yeah, a good way to do that. Again, ASUS. I don't think ASUS intended for us to uh, open this monitor up. Wow, I really scratched this up really badly the first time I did this. Alright, I'm gonna fire her up and see what happens. Okay, so, uh... Alright, so I'm back. So, good news, everyone. You powered on. It works. Alright, so I reinstalled the ASUS stock VGA248QE PCB into the VGA248QE to uninstall, essentially, um, the G-Sync module, which is all cool. Thanks for watching, and check you guys out later. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to check out more of our content, there's videos everywhere. So on this side, next behind this tree, um, you have things, you have links to other videos and whatnot. So check those out. Hit that like, dislike, subscribe button down there. And if you have any comments, concerns, criticism, suggestions, and other stuff, you can write it down in the comment section below. And once again, I'm Jan. Thanks for watching, and for watching this video. So yeah, check you guys out later.